We are currently 1% away from champion. I am at elite 99%. So, you know, hopefully we get at least 1% this match and can make it into champion rank. Uh, maybe, you know, it's a tall ass. Not really sure where I want to land this game. I'm thinking classy. It's kind of like a weird boss for it. Not really, like it's early, but it's not like directly in line with the bus so like while there will likely be people here i don't think it's gonna be like ridiculously populated you know i just jinxed it though everybody in the lobby is now landing at classy courts ggs at least somebody i hear his glider at least two people I think my drop is good-ish. I think I'm going to land on this balcony to the, the front left of the house. What is this purple thing? I hope it's shockwaves. Okay, it is. Did not want that to be the chain of Hades and just have to deal with somebody that with that the moment the game starts, you know? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nice. I'm not the biggest fan of the Nemesis, but like, yeah, I'll take a gold AR off the rip with the site. That's excellent. Especially four ranked because I would like to not have to use the weapon mod benches. And just finding an AR with a site on it immediately kind of reduces the necessity to have to do that because I do want an AR with a site on it for sure. There's definitely somebody down there. There's loot opened. Don't see any loot opened on the other courts. I see somebody over here. I miss all my shots. I'm so bad with the DMR with the red dot on it or like any site that isn't like 4x or thermal. You gotta be careful about hopping on that. Okay, yeah. I wanna. No way, man. I'm gonna say I wanna focus this player, since I had already hit the other guy, and that guy had timing. So like, if when I'm third partying that bite, getting rid of that player is more important because like I had already shot the John Wick 68 blue, I think, and then this guy is like coming behind the John Wick, like odds are the John Wick is going to be not in the greatest spot there, right? And so when I'm third partying that, I just want to third party the person who I think is going to end up winning the fight or has like the greatest chance to win the fight. John Wick had bad like position and was already weak from me. So we just want to focus the uh, like banner skin. That way when I do eventually third party it, that he is somewhat weak. Unfortunately, we had to burn both our shocks. I, that's not ideal at all. I would have liked to have just gotten over there. Killed him. I like messed up shock waving, I think, and like shot the ground. I don't even know. But, um, yeah, that's not great. But I still think I would rather burn the shocks and just get that guy out of the game, get that kill on the board. And kills on the board right now. Uh, then just kind of like leave him be. There's a car coming. That's not good at all for me. I was hoping I could just loot the rest of this POI and then maybe go talk to the NPC that sells shock waves. That's why I was going to say, like, burning the shocks isn't the biggest deal to me there because I should be able to buy some. Good news these. I initially wasn't using them because I wanted to see if maybe I was going to find more splashes, you know? Oh, here we go. I forgot I didn't loot this entire house. Someone just rifted. I don't even know where that's from. See? I could have had four splashes. Rip, man. Also, I know there was a purple Warforged air back there. I love the Warforged air. Like, I like it a lot more than the Nemesis, for sure. But... I don't like the thermal very much. 
I had very little shotgun shells. Yeah, I don't I don't enjoy using the thermal and ARs at all. That purple warforged is not as bad as like the green one with thermal because the it has a vertical foregrip as well. So it has like a little less recoil, but I still just am not a fan of the thermal and ARs whatsoever. I wonder if this was looted. Like part of me thinks that car that drove past me looted this. But I don't really see any obvious signs that it was looted. Okay, no. There's a car like parked in front of the doorway right there. I wonder if they parked that like that so no one could open the door and then they're like baiting it in some way. It's odd. Someone already killed this NPC. That's not great either. I was hoping to buy shockwaves from her. I was in this bush. I didn't want to crash into the tree. I just want to keep driving. Alrighty then. Didn't even buy any shocks from her, bro. What a waste. I don't know where the car went. It's like I get out of the car and then it just flies away, man. I wanted to get this G-Wagon over here. No, that's, that's, this car flew away too. But I wanted to get that fresh G-Wagon since I had to like fry my own windshield there. I'm gonna go for this one. Has no back window. Hmm, this is bad. Okay, just making sure I reloaded after the fight. But yeah, the car fight versus that guy was very easy. I didn't want to have to shotgun fight him because my shotgun was rar rarity was bad. Um, and so just ARing him out of the car is perfect for me. Like once he gets out of the car, I get in and then I was just hoping he would get driver's seat and then we could beam him out. Like that was like what happened was like very ideal for me. Like that was what I wanted to happen. Obviously it's not great to have to like break the windshield on the car because it makes it less usable for me later on, but it's still better than just having the like random shotgun fight. Especially having only a white gatekeeper. Like, I don't know for sure that he has that blue one, obviously. But, like, odds are he has a better than white. We broke shield on that. This guy doesn't seem to be the greatest. I probably just jinxed it. But, like, the way he responded to me shooting at him... Didn't... Make me concerned about doing that. This is icing my car. This thing does a decent amount of like damage to the car and like structures and stuff. Seen a lot of people talking about like using it in place of an AR. I really don't enjoy doing that myself personally. But if it works for you, it works for you. This is like so bad now. I used my shock to get that kill. We didn't get any added utility off of it. I lost my car. This guy's going to be chasing behind us. We get utility here. Running with my bunkers out right now. In case we get shot, I can just instantly throw a bunker. So I know I need to heal. But with only one big pot, like... Wanted to hold on to that. Doesn't seem like this was looted. There's a chest outside. There's ammo next to the gun. You never be too sure with Fortnite players, though. Dang. I was hoping she would give me a big pot.
I'd be very careful. There was somebody sitting in that bush wouldn't bad for me. I wanted to just like kind of bait that chest for a second and then I got stuck in the, the cart. And sometimes people will leave loot in houses just to bait, but like one, just try to always be on guard. Is someone just zipline down here? I just don't know where the windows are in this building. Oh my god, that's such a bad fight. But like I was already committed to it, you know? And I thought I was like hard winning. I think if I have a Warforged there, I kill him there before he gets anything off really. It's not great to take that 50-50, but like I thought the timing advantage was like just heavily in my favor. And so I wanted to take it. If I knew this house better, I feel like I also would have played that differently. I was like, I kind of wasted time looking for like a window to shoot him out of because I didn't know if there was any windows like facing that direction. But anyways, when, when it comes to looting houses in solo ranked or just any ranked, people will rat in houses, especially in the higher levels. It is what it is. Like any competitive BR is always just going to be campy, you know? Uh, I don't think there's anything the devs can really do about that. But like some signs that it's not looted will be like chest still there making noise. Sometimes people will bait the chest though. Ammo being next to the guns is also a decent sign because like even if people are trying to bait it, sometimes they walk over that ammo and it kind of like ruins their plan. I don't really want to be in this fight. I didn't get enough damage off it to want to push. And then the more we're just out here shooting, the more likely we are to get third partied. He's moving up on me though. Dude, what are you doing? I think that was the one who iced my car earlier. That man, someone told that man they buffed the Hades chain. And he really went for it. I've had a decent amount of people complaining about the Hades chain in my comments. And saying like you need to make one of those like stop losing to this item about the Hades chain. But it's like really hard for me to even make a video about that. Because I never really encounter that item much. Like I've probably played against it more this game than like the rest of my matches this week combined. So it's like I don't even have experience playing against it. So it's like hard for me to make that content. But also... I just, I don't know. I don't struggle against it. I feel like it's mostly like a timing thing. Like, I don't know. I just like don't really put myself in situations where it could be that good. Like if I try to jump on that guy and shotgun him, then maybe the melee aspect of it would have mattered. Or if he did pull me, but I, I feel like me ARing him put like more pressure on him to potentially miss the hook. And I'm like kind of head glitching that rock. If I was peeking more, like over peeking, maybe he gets me. Or if I, like my aim wasn't as good, maybe he gets me, but... I don't know. I'm not really sure. I just don't find myself playing in set. That was not worth. I kind of, with how that car was parked, I thought there was somebody camping in it. I thought there was somebody camping in this one too for a second. But I, I was going to pull up on that car and then maybe see if I get a free kill. But it's really not worth to try to do that. I kind of immediately regretted it. I was like on autopilot talking about what I was talking about, but like even if I do get the free kill there, I'm not even sure it's worth it just because we're probably going to have to use like health. Like your your HP is a resource kind of, you know, like I don't want to invest health into that kill. That doesn't really matter. And then also like the potential we get third party, you know, we're like ruining our timing. We're creating an opportunity for someone in third party us to try to get a kill on somebody who wasn't really a threat to me in that moment. Like he seemed very content for me to pass. And I'm not really in a situation where I need to do anything desperate here. Uh, I was going to go get those barrels, but that guy's over there. And again, is it worth fighting for barrels? Because I need 20 shield when I have good loot and I have utility. Like, if I had less utility, then maybe, like, getting forcing that kill on that alien would have mattered more. But, like, my utility situation is, like, outstanding. And so just being able to play the end game would be great for me. And I feel like that's kind of how you need to gauge your like risk reward. Like 
I just have more to lose in the game there, I think. We could uh, pull out the chains and try to yank somebody out of a car here. But again, I'm not really desperate to do anything here. If I have no bunkers, we got to make a play somewhere. But I kind of want to just exist and make it later in the game to the point where like me having utility presents like a huge advantage over the other players and then you can get a lot of easy kills in game that way that's why like people just like camping and existing is like kind of good for you because then there's more people in the end game and if you position yourself while in game and have like good utility like a decent amount of it in zero build is just like rng of whether or not you get bunkers and stuff but if you have those bunkers for end game and you get a decent spot you can mop up kills and like the way the rank system in this game is supposed to work, like late game kills are supposed to count more or count for more than early game kills and stuff. So you would want to get most of your kills that way anyways. And you get placement and potential to win. That's always been my kind of style for competitive. Uh, even like when I played build comp back in the day, it was just like, I, I just want to make it in game and like get kills and like obviously you get kills early game you get kills mid game like but i don't know just forcing it for no reason i never really liked and i think the only tournament i placed in the money in was like a tournament like in winter royale they tested a lot of formats i think it was like only kill points and only like win but even just like playing for end game in a format like that where there was no placement aside from winning i was still able to like place in the money in that Hey, this is not great. Okay, nice. I was just gonna leave because like this guy's landing on me, that car's driving at me. That's not good for us, but the car leaves cause I was like showing. Again, same thing. Okay, if he leaves, I'm done for that. All right, did you see? I don't, I'm not attached to getting that kill. I just want to shoot at him and make him less inclined to be here. But obviously, it already looked like he was le leaving, obviously, but like, yeah. Shooting at that guy is not great. I didn't realize he could just drop into that roof like that because now he might be like aggroed on me. Like he knows I'm here. But I've, if the roof isn't just like an easy drop down for him, then like that's potentially a free kill for me, you know? His zone is rough. I, th this game is actually going to be hard to be in. This is where forecast would have been like really good because I went to this side of zone just because I thought it would be less populated and you saw we got to kind of like exist but also now we have like a super far rotation in the zone and everybody a lot of people are probably in between us and zone those barrels were taken I could have waited to go, but I don't know. I just went early, so I had more time to respond to things. If I had no shocks and no bunkers, I might have just, like, late rotated and hoped to get in and, like, maybe steal someone's cover. But I have shocks. If my car gets shot out, we can shock in and stuff if needed. And I do have bunkers, so we can just, like, go somewhere and create our own position of advantage. And a lot of times in ranked, people, like, want to be last to rotate. And then because they want to be last to rotate, that like, becomes too like congested at that time. Like you see, I just drove like right up through the middle of the zone, no problem. Whereas like if we all try to leave Snooty like super late, then we just like naturally contest each other. I want to like get, is this in zone? No. I'd like to just get ahead and bunker, but I don't want to bunker on this edge and then have the zone be on the complete opposite edge. So we're going to wait the two seconds and see what zone does. Okay, so yeah, if I wasted a bunker here, that would have not been great. Somebody up here. Somebody up on this probably as well. This guy just got sniped, I think.
This guy should be chill with me. It's like beneficial for us to both not really mess with each other, I think. Dang. I don't know if he can see me when I'm like on this door. Like the guy behind me? I think he can. He's got a sniper, so we don't really want to peek into that. Okay. We don't need to do anything with that kill. I just want him to not be here anymore. We just want to chill here. Dang, I can't see out my door. Still have 300 AR ammo. I just checked though to make sure. I got to be worried about people being here. I could use another bunker on this, but I don't want to because of the way zone is. If the zone was here, I would bunker right here as well. And then I could easily use this zone a lot better. The only like... Okay, nice. Stolen kill. The only like way I feel comfortable peeking is like out this door, but even then my angle is pretty limited. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, that guy knows we're here. Get this loot. Nice, we got a bunker refresh. I don't know if I've had three big pots this entire time. I would have drank one earlier. Only they're a siphon. This is not the most efficient use of a bunker. I don't want to be here, I think. I'm standing in this corner so that guy from before can't get me. He's using a med kit in zone. Three opponents remain. There's a medallion there, but it, I would like it, but it's not worth it, I don't think. We grief this guy, he's in a demon. I would have liked to get a lot of damage on that guy and grief him. Because he seems in a decent position. This might be a waste. I'm gonna chill by time. If I didn't have more bunkers, it'd be like scary to do that. But since I have so many, I can just kind of waste them like that and buy time with a single bunker. This guy pushing me, I don't want to have happen. I don't, I don't want to fight this. Like if we fight, we get third partied, I think. Especially if anybody's desperate. Dang, getting that shot off sooner would have been nice. We might get hopped on here. Maybe they fight. Jeez. And that's why I was talking about how, why it's so huge to have extra utility. Because I could use a bunker here and then be like, I'm going to get 20 seconds off this bunker and be able to position myself well for end game. But if I only had one bunker, then that's rough, you know? Um, looting that kill that I had gotten underneath was kind of high value there. Hopefully, we got more than 1% off that and we can make it into champion, but we'll see. Nice. A lot of percent, too. That was a very good game. I'm happy with how I played that. Boring early to mid game, but I feel like the end game was nice and I made some good decisions, especially with like killing the guy under me, leaving the loot for later. The person who was like neighboring my bunker with the sniper, we just shockwaved him away. And then also, I, I think I made some good plays on those like late game rotations to use bunkers, but not be too attached to them.
because I had so many and that's just kind of the value of having so many bunkers but like I feel like a lot of people get their bunker and then feel like they have to defend it uh and that's just not always the case sure I would like to not waste some like that but I think it was worth but that was a very good game I think so as you saw from that game we just got into champion and also with today we got the avatar mythics in the game I'm not sure yet if they're in rank but I think they are but we now have the air uh fire and earth bending mythics in the game uh so it's pretty interesting i don't really care for the fire one too much the air one is okay and i think the earth one could be pretty good in zero build competitive if you aren't able to find bunkers and the air one could be okay if you're not able to find shockwaves but i would much rather have shockwaves over the air mythic uh especially in a 1v1 like situation if you're trying to like maneuver in a fight or get away from a fight or reposition in a fight like all of those things i'd much rather have shockwaves in the air mythic it's decent for traveling around the map and i think if the end game is very chaotic then you know the air mythic could be quite good if there's like a bunch of people doing it but in just a straight up fight i, I don't think it's that great especially at the higher ranks when most people are gonna have like pretty solid aim you know we go classy this game hopefully it's not the most populated thing ever. My drop is not the greatest, I don't think. It's not terrible. It seems like most of these people have a similar drop. I would like to land on a different spot of the house of them, but it's like kind of hard to like know what they're doing. We gotta kind of all commit to it. Yep, GG's. I think I want to try to get to the bottom part here. It's rough, but I don't know if anyone landed here. And then we know there's at least two more people in the house. So I'm like hoping that they just fight each other. And then we can get this loot. That was almost bad, but that's what I was trying to avoid. Like, I didn't want to just land on the same spot as the house of them when we have, like, basically the same drop. There were shotgun shots, and someone just died in the kill feed to shotgun, so I think that fight is concluded over there. I would have liked to try to third-party it, but timing just wasn't it for me, really. Like, I wouldn't have gotten there in time. Fire Mythic here. I don't care for that. Like, looting these places in classy when you know there's somebody else here is rough. My movement feels so weird right now. I want to have my bunkers out at all time. That's tough, man. But hey, man, like, I, I don't know if I'd rather have the white gatekeeper or the purple auto. I think the auto might have been better for that. Especially because like my, I don't know, my game feels so weird right this moment. Like it's only 37 ping, but like I swear ranked servers feel so much worse than pubs. Like I can get a hundred ping in pubs and it's fine. If I play with one of my friends on a different server, but like 30 ping in ranked is just like, I don't know, it feels terrible. I don't know if anyone else has that experience. And it's not like the game is ridiculously stacked. Like in a very competitive event, when you have like a bunch of people in game, then like, the game will run worse and it's understandable it makes sense it's not ideal but like you can understand it like off spawn 70 60 people up it's like not some ridiculous number that should like really change things which mythic is this it's earth bending i think i would rather have bunkers though like i i think bunkers create a better piece of cover it is very much like a uh situation where i don't feel like amazing about that like i think bunkers are better but it's not like the bunkers blow the earth bending out of the water because the fact that the earth bending regenerates over time is like pretty insane like you can like like last game i i was able to use my bunkers without being too attached to them because i had so many end game 
and I knew I only needed to kill like one or two people. So it's like, yeah, we can invest three bunkers into this kill. It, with earthbending, you can kind of do that at any every point in the game. You can just like always invest a lot of your cover item. You, you can invest your cover item into a spot that maybe you're not that attached to, I guess is what I was trying to say, because it does recharge over time. Whereas with bunkers, it's a better piece of uh, cover, I think but it runs like the risk of like you wouldn't use it it's gone so like you got to be mindful of that i don't know what this guy's doing i would have liked to get that kill but didn't have good timing on it like if, if i was a bit higher on the roof and he's driving right at me then like we maybe could have done something there But if he just wants to go about his day, he can go about his day. I still don't know how I feel about the choice of shotgun as well. Like, I like the gatekeeper a lot more than the auto shotgun now, for sure. But, like, white gatekeeper to purple auto? I don't know, man. Also, I probably should have got mushrooms here earlier. Oh, somebody coming. I don't know where they are, but I just had visual audio footsteps. I doubt they go to the left. I'm just gonna get out of here. Yeah, I probably should have went and got those mushrooms earlier. I forgot they were there. I haven't landed here much this season aside from ranked, honestly, because like with how pubs are now, I, I rarely land here. I like landing at the spots uh, near the Grim Gate medallion and pubs. Let's see if this was looted. Was. The NPC is still here though. Alright, we get out of here. I, I feel very like not happy being here. AI shooting at my tires. I'm just trying to get out of the way. As somebody who's been hit by a car in real life, I don't think she has room to be irritated there. She walked in front of me. She caught that. But yeah, I, I was like very sus of somebody camping that NPC. Weird, I got a blue gatekeeper shotgun there, but I'll take it. Very happy with loot right now. More bunkers would be excellent. But we got full shocks. Um, all the bigs are bought. Okay. But we got full shocks now and at least two bunkers. An AR with a sight on it and a decent rarity gatekeeper shotgun. No drum mag, but like it's fine. I, ideally, I would like to not have to fight over a weapon bunker in ranks because I, I feel like they're often hotly contested and the fights around them are just like typically not the greatest fights and like you have a pretty decent chance of getting third party and just like kind of chain third party into oblivion. So I'd rather not partake in that. And the fact that I already have like an arrow with a sight on it makes me like more comfortable not forcing it. Same thing here. I'm not going to force this. I'd like that kill. Mainly just get that damage so he doesn't want to fight me anymore. And then if he did decide to fight me out of like panic or whatever, then like I have a lot of damage to start that fight. Like someone driving right at you when you have like a sight on a Warforged JR is like very rough for them, I think. That's why like when I was talking earlier about Classy, if I had like a better angle on that car driving at me, I would have just like killed that guy then. I don't know why, it seems like so many games I play, 
I mean, I guess not the last one. I feel like so many of my ranked games have ended in the Mount Olympus biome, and it's like the, one of the areas on the map that I'm the least familiar with. But it's definitely ending here, so I'm just going to get deep in a zone, and then we can play the rest of the game from dead side if needed, but it might not be very much dead. There's shots over here. There's about to be two weapon bunkers here. This person has both the underworld medallions. They're going to be a problem. This might be a free kill to get. Maybe not. There was somebody using the airbender mythic, and I thought he was using it to run from somebody. So I was like thinking that like they're probably going to be weak, you know? I think he's underground with it. Visual audio is confusing me. Oh, no, they're right there. I am very confused on what's going on. This guy is like kind of griefing because now everybody's trying to fight because he's here. But he did the pickaxe thing to me there, so we got to kind of abandon that car, unfortunately. That was weird, man. Like the timing of all that. If they fight, I'm like down to third party it. If they like actually fight, but it doesn't like look like they fought yet. They're done fighting. Another big pot for me. I don't know what happened to the car. It's over there. It's quite weak. Run the shocks out. In case we get shot. Would have liked to have gotten a kill off that shock. Not having a car is bad, man. Because this biome is so bad for car spawns. There's like none. Like having the airbender mythic, I think, has legit more value in this biome. Because of the lack of cars. Somebody said that in my Twitch chat today. And it's like, I never... I didn't think of that, but like... I agree. This is a person that has Underworld Medallion. I would just desperately like to not interact with them at all. Because, like, odds are that person's going to be decently aggro. Like, going for Grimgate Underworld. Uh, and the Cerberus dashes are very overpowered, in my opinion. Uh, so, I would like to not have a fight versus them. I have footsteps, but I think it's underneath. I, I just would like to be away from this area. Because I keep getting confused by, like, where the visual audio is. Like, earlier... When I had the airbender mythic on me, I thought that it was underground because, like, I just didn't see it at all. I think this player that has the Mount Olympus or has the Brawler's Battleground Medallion at Mount Olympus is, like, just kind of chilling there. I could be wrong, but he's been there for a while. He's going there. Just leave him be. Again, I just want to get deeper in his zone because everybody's about to be rotating in on this edge. They're fighting in that bunker. Told you. Very ratty, very third party centric there. But this entire game, I made much harder for myself by kind of like sticking around, uh, around the person that was using the water stuff. I'm confused. I had, no I had no audio on that car at all. I was trying to talk. But yeah, I, I made this game so much harder for myself by sticking around over there too much and looking for that free beam because I thought it was somebody running from somebody using Airbender Mythic. And if that was like the case, I expected them to be quite weak. But because of like being somewhat indec indecisive there, I made this game so much harder than it needed to be because I lost my car. Like, I could have, like, had the, a somewhat 50-50 car fight versus that guy while there was another player, like, on us. Or just kind of, like, give up my car. And I chose to give up my car. I don't know what I want to do with myself here. We know the medallion player left, but there's still a decent chance that there's people being ratty in this uh, POI. But there's also a decent chance there's nobody else here and I can maybe get some extra loot. Which would be nice considering I've had to waste shockwaves and I was never full bunkers.
that fight we just were about to have, I would have tried to just kill that guy that was fizzing. I would have tried to like AR beam him and then maybe get the kill, but with the other person being there and already shooting at me, is I think it's better to use the shockwave and not be there. Like I, I just don't, I would really like to not have fights where there's multiple people involved, which, you know, obviously makes sense. Nobody likes getting third party, but like that is like my kind of decision making on if I want to fight. In ranked is like is there something worth fighting for am i shambles like if i'm shambles i'm probably going to be more likely to fight for stuff that maybe doesn't make as much sense because if i don't i'm gonna lose anyways but also like what's going on in the situation around us how likely is it we get third partied and then also like how does the fight start it starts with like good ar tags and doesn't seem like there's anybody else down around. I'm down to fight that. But if there's like not really a, a start to the fight that's beneficial for me, I don't know where the chest is like up top. Or I know for sure we're getting third partied. I just don't want to have that. Especially at the higher levels, like not everyone is good. Like the, the ranked mode in Fortnite is not set up in such a way that everybody who's in champion or elite or unreal is very good. That's just not how it is. But they're probably decent and you're just getting third partied by somebody decent. Not great. All right, we get shocks. Unfortunately, we get no bunkers. I think I would have rather gotten more bunkers here, but it is what it is. And now we can hopefully play the game from dead side. Like I talked about earlier, I think there's not that likely that there's a bunch of people around me right now there might be but i think the other side of zone is more contested and more populated and that area that person i said that was likely aggro that i wanted to avoid with the medallion literally came over here got the mount olympus medallion and then went back to island so I, like i told you that player's being very active and if you want to have more kind of like structured fights like i was talking about or fights that make sense avoiding people like that is ideal like obviously it'd be great to kill them and get the uh, we find bunkers nice. It'd be nice to kill them and get the dashes, but also like they're going to force fights in situations that maybe don't make as much sense because they just want to fight, which like I would probably be down to if I wasn't trying to make every game in this series a video, you know, like I, I play pretty differently for these videos because I do want to post every match of the game. I don't, I don't want to like play aggro and maybe get a decent match one in five games, you know, like I, I want to have like somewhat decent success rate as far as like quality games for uh the video series and so that's why i do play a bit more reserved and passive and as far as like informative content as far as decision making goes if you're just gonna key everything like there's not as much to learn from there so you know to like be better than everyone else in the lobby and key them that that isn't that helpful to somebody who's like actually trying to rank up And who like might be struggling this zone is very interesting again i do not know this area well why, why is it not shock waving that was the most weird situation ever i'm pretty sure it just said can't do that right now like three times when i tried to shock Like, why would it ever say that? Just, nah, you can't shockwave on that person. GG's. But what I was going to say is I don't know this area well, and it feels like there's a lot of places that are just, like, 50-50s. Like, dropping down right now would be good because, like, nobody else is there probably. And so it would make our game a little bit easier dropping down like that. But also... If zone pulls back up the mountain, you, you kind of just griefed your game by doing so. That situation was kind of grief. Like, putting two shockwaves for a single kill, I don't think is great. But that guy kind of caught me off guard. I did not expect him to be there. I was kind of way... I was paying way more attention to what I was talking about, and then that guy was just there. And so, I kind of had to kill him. Luckily, we got decent timing. We hit the kill, but you saw immediately we got third-partied. Like, I'm lucky I got the kill for free, basically, but, like... Had that been a situation where we had to like actually fight for the kill would have been not good and like i was talking before about like the fact that like if i drop down we make our game harder potentially having forecast would be great for a zone like this 
This person's likely rolling right up to me. Cause zone. Like we're gonna have a lot of people like contesting us right now because zone is here. This is good for me, this guy bunkering here. As long as he like minds his business, like we can exist here and it'll be good because he can kind of act as a buffer from that side of zone. Cause like somebody will have to like push past him to get to me, you know? I'm gonna shock onto that. Oh no, I think there's somebody else there. Hopefully this guy's chill. I broke his shield, so I wanted to shock onto that. And then I also thought the bunker, I thought this bunker was that player. Like I thought that Aang had pushed from this bunker close to me up to that fight. So I'm like, okay, we can get that kill, have that bunker there. Be somewhat chill. We just broke his shield. It should be an easy kill. And then worst case scenario, I can drop back to this bunker and we're fine. But turns out this bunker was a completely different person. Wanted to get that kill. I didn't realize there's so many bunkers here. That guy did a good play bunkering there. You might look at that and be like, what a waste. He's not, that's not a spot he wants to be. But if he doesn't bunker there, he's dead. I would have just beamed him if he tried to heal out in the open. It's a very dead end game. There's no real end game here, which is kind of good for me because my utility is not great. Like, I don't have a lot of shocks. I don't have a lot of bunkers. This is a zone where having a lot of shocks would be great. Like anything around mountains can get very scuffed. See if this guy tries to make a play since I shot that car. I think I'm just... Ah, dude, this is rough. Again, same thing. If zone pulls up here... After, like, if zone pulls up further again, then being on my blue ping would be great. But if it doesn't, then, like, going for low ground and being, like, relatively unconned would be nice. And a lot of these decisions, I feel like, are just kind of 50-50s. A lot of times, you want to put yourself in kind of... To, to minimize what the worst case scenario would be or like if the worst case scenario happens minimize that problem but i'm just gonna have to use my shocks those bunkers falling down men same thing i talked about earlier it might not feel good to use the bunker here just to heal but Better than dying. It might be hard for me to get anything done in this game from now on, though. To 1v1v1. They might fight. This is a guy with dash medallion. He likely has mythic gatekeeper as well. Quick shield on him. And he can just dash away. GG's. Zone pulls back up though. Somewhat. And both of these people are low ground, I think. He's down there sniping. If I had dashes there, I feel like that's a kill to get. I just want to grief both these people into fighting and then third party it. I think they both might just have a very hard time getting up. Oh no, I griefed myself, man. Dang, dude. I wanted to throw the bunker and then have it as cover. I, w I wanted to be in my bunker, but I literally just ruined my game. If I just slide down the hill there, we're chill. That's so tilting. I, I feel like the bunkers, like, very rarely, if ever, do what I actually want them to do. But I, I just wanted to be in my bunker and then AR down on them. And then I get caught in between my bunker and the mountain. And then the fact that they just fought doesn't actually inconvenience that guy. All right, just to go over why I threw that game and kind of like what I wanted to do, because I know people are going to roast me in the comments. The zone is going uphill, which seems great for me because I'm already on top of the mountain. 
and these people are low ground so zone pulling up the hill would be perfect for me however i have no white hills and i have no mobility and if you look at zone here i don't know if i can open the big map none of this top part of the mountain is going to be open for me to travel like uh i would have to go into the storm and run around or shockwave across this gap we'll see here see look i, I look at zone here it's not going to just move in such a way where i can run up this and end without white hills it, it basically like cuts across this gap which isn't there for me so they actually have a better rotation into like the new zone I, they, I just don't they just don't really have cover i have bunkers which is great so i want to just drop here bunker right here and then kind of sit in my bunker and look down on them but i end up getting stuck in between my bunker and the mountain because i didn't throw it low enough i probably should have just threw it lower or threw it before i slid down the mountain and then that would have been avoided or just slid all the way down and then threw a bunker but the problem with that is i know this guy has the gatekeeper dashes because we fought him earlier on in the game and he ran from me using the dashes so if i'm on the ground and bunkering then he potentially can just gatekeeper dash at me and then we have like a 50 50 shotgun fight which maybe we win maybe we don't who knows he does seem weak here but i think he gets siphoned because he has that medallion as well um it would have been ideal for me if i'm on top of this bunker right here like i think we could just look down and easily get that kill like can i do the free cam uh i don't know how to do this okay e for height like if i'm in here and i could just shoot down on them oh shoot like we're, we're just chilling right like that's a decent angle to just easily get that kill but unfortunately i get stuck in between my bunker and the wall which isn't great and then i end up having to have the 50 50 fight versus them anyways i probably should have tried to just throw another bunker on my way down i think i had more but at the same time i just got kind of griefed by the fact that like i got stuck in between my bunker and the wall and in the heat of the moment you know you're not really thinking about that but um can i do third person you'll see the way zone traveled i wasn't gonna be able to just run right in i had to do something it's just if i threw the bunker before sliding down i think i'm chilling or if i just you know got in my bunker like i actually wanted as i was throwing it i i think that's like a easy kill because he's already weak here he has a uh, siphon medallion so he's 50 less shield here um and i think he may or may not have had overshield because he just fought the other player but that's what i wanted to happen but that's kind of the nature of fortnite a lot of times you'll have an idea for something or how you want to play something and then it just something very different happens fortnite's kind of the most petty game uh when it comes to things like that but that is gonna be it for this video i hope you guys found this helpful informative interesting as always if you did remember to give it a like subscribe if you'd like some more and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching